Alright lads and lasses, I'm Eccentric Racer and I'm here on Forza Motorsport 4, something a little bit different this time, I'm not doing King of the Mountain, uh, what I am doing instead is I have got the Mercedes Sauber C9 and I'm going to do a particular set of events. Now, um, there's a lot of things you can do within the event list and when I'm not doing recordings on King of the Mountain, I just tend to go through these, like for instance I did this recently where I'm doing a track day with the Porsche RS Spider, I've got to do Porsche 911 GT1 track days and there's just a whole bunch of events to go. There's this particular set of events, you can also do bowling, there's a particular set of events that the AIs actually really struggle with in the prototype cars and that's these, the Speedway events. Now if you don't know what these are, they are basically ovals. So we've got the choices of Indianapolis, Twin Ring Motegi and Sedona, that one being made up. Because basically what happened, they sit in the slipstream and because the bears basically don't break until halfway around the corners for Twin Ring especially, they just go onto the wall and then they're basically wall riding or they spin out. Or they do really wacky shit that I'm, I don't know why they do it, but they do it. So I thought why not showcase it. Of course, when you actually sit in the slipstream, especially at higher speeds, you definitely do actually feel the effect. The car does just understeer a lot more um, when you're in sort of near slipstream to someone else. But then you just see the mad increase in your speed it is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to try and go around the outside. Oh god, no I'm not because I just sat in the slipstream with Bentley and then all of a sudden just felt my car just understeer it near the wall. Okay, so, um, well that one, oh my god, that's one of the AIs breaking massively. Aston Martin's in the wall, nearly wall riding, that's all the panels up there. The Acura has ended up in the wall, Christ, and cut back in front of me. But there we are, see, in one lap managed to make a few positions in fourth place already. Was it just the Acura? Uh, oh no, I think it was a later lap, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, because that Acura just pinged off the wall. Yeah, there's the Aston Martin and whatnot. Yeah, right, okay, so it wasn't this lap for the Bentley, it was the next lap. It was in the slipstream somewhat, so it's going to be doing about 220 mile an hour now. Yep, just understeers big time, the damage shows up. Oh, okay, so it, it, I'm forgetting lap, it must be lap 3. So no, I, you saw the Audi up ahead ping into the wall, so that did suffer damage. You can see that it's understeering big time. I do actually force it down on the lower line. I actually just thought that was the Acura to fly around the outside. Oh, here we go. This is definitely the making for it. Yeah. How the hell was it doing that speed? Hang on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You cannot turn that well at 228 miles an hour. Not when you're slipstreaming someone. I am sorry, but I'm calling out bullets on that one. Yeah, so that absolutely wrecked suspension. And oh, oh no, that is just absolutely murdered from the Cadillac. Right, hang on, I'm, I've got to see it from the Cadillac's perspective. Right, okay, so here we are. So it's, just it's, it's already suffered some damage, I think. There's the Bentley pulling alongside in the pit. The Cadillac tries to avoid it, just doesn't. Wipes the Bentley. Wow, that was absolutely insane. What's the telemetry saying? 100% everything except for the gearbox, the engine, and um, the <laughs> the brakes and the suspension on front right are shattered. All the others are fine. I was going to try and give you room on the inside and decided to not go for it. That's the... Oh, that's... Well, that's my race over. God damn, it's got rolled. I have to watch that one. Okay, here we are, moments before impact. So that's taking this corner at 215. I'm doing it about, I don't know, because I'm understanding like mad, about 100 and something. About 170 miles an hour. Oh, God damn it. Uh, pause. Yeah. And then, so I'm slowing down big time. Oh my god, the motion blur. That takes in a lot more speed. Punts me. 
and then I just go for an absolutely humongous roll. It was an impressive roll from the Aston. And the best part was I did land back on the wheels. But yeah, that was quite the crash. That was quite the takeout. Uh, they've actually made it through. No, they haven't. There's been a huge crash. <laughs> Virgil's wiped out the Aston Martin there. And I think it's actually... Oh my god, is some I think someone's actually stuck on the catch fence there. I think something's on the catch fence. I'm gonna have to explore it next lap. I don't even know. Oh god, it's not gonna be the Acura. Oh, I think I managed to get off it. Ooh, oh, okay, oh no, Audi, like, please. Audi, do not take me out. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go wide. Do you keep out the wall? You do in a way, actually, yeah. That's actually a pretty good job from the Audi. Well done, well done there, mate. Okay, so I found the start of the crash here, so we're going along, I'm following the Aston Martin here, we've got the Acura, so it is three wide here, the Aston Martin tags the Acura, which pushes it into the Peugeot, so they get collected, then there's a huge slide, the Audi runs wide, tags the Acura, which tags the Peugeot again, so that car's gone in the wall, the Aston Martin is still under steering, so Peugeot's in the wall, nice, okay. So then it's pinging off a little bit. Oh, no, no. Right. So I've got a uh, monkey control. So then the Peugeot obviously pings off the wall, then tags the back corner of the Aston Martin, which then pits them down. The Cadillac actually does a really good job of avoiding it. So then crashes into the wall. Oh! Oh it, <laughs> oh, it literally just reverses into the BMW. And, oh, just a slight touch. All right, okay, so there was no car on the wall. Um, it was just the BMW got stuck behind the reversing Aston Martin. All right, okay, fair enough. How am I ever going to live with that 1% suspension damage? Um, I'm hoping I'm saying, oh, there's been a huge crash over there. There's some, oh, dear. <laughs> Me locking the brakes actually saved myself there. Good Christ. That's a big crash. That's wiped out some cars. I think that was an Aston Martin. Yeah, both the Aston Martins got involved in that one. And, and saw the yellow one get absolutely... Just went into the back of the uh, other ones. Absolutely got wiped. Okay, so we're going to watch this majority from the yellow Aston Martin. Uh, so... Okay, so there's the Lola understeering wide. Some other cars understeered up ahead. Ooh, that's a big hit from pinging off the wall. Uh, but they do actually make it through. Okay, ours, oh, the Acura. Oh, and they tag the Lola again. BMW suffered a little bit of damage there. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. No, there is a big crash up ahead, so I'm going to have to explore that one. Uh, oh! Right, okay, well, we caught the aftermath of it. Right, okay, so... We'll ignore the telemetry. Okay, so pause here. So we've got a Peugeot, Bentley, and the Aston Martin almost going three wide. The Bentley's a little bit too far back. Uh, and the Aston Martin is turning in. We've got Bentley on the inside. It's still coming a huge amount of speed. And then there we go. So here you can already see that it is going into the wall. Then slam on the brakes. Crashes into the wall. So that takes out a lot of the... That, does a lot of damage. The Peugeot is actually taking the corner alright, but because the Aston Martin is that much slower, it then turns into the Peugeot, tags it, both of them go into the wall. The Peugeot is almost rolled, and the Aston Martin goes into it. So that Peugeot is now wall riding, manages to not roll it, and the Aston Martin suffered huge damage, goes across into the pits. Now, okay, I'm going to rewind a little bit. So I can get this Aston Martin's perspective. Ooh, more that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so that Aston Martin obviously pings across to then... Actually, no, I think it's turning away because obviously it's gotten off of a slide. So that Peugeot suffered huge damage. This Aston, the Lola Aston Martin, is then sort of heading towards the pits. And this Aston Martin just has nowhere to go. It's plough straight into the back of it. And that's spinning. And then you can see me panic locking. 
with a huge drift and trying to avoid it, and small tag from the uh, Cadillac there. And then, of course, they look... Oh, okay, interesting. That one doesn't go into the pit. But there was another crashes up ahead, so I'm going to need to explore that. Oh. That explains why the Audi went into the pit. The suspension on the back was absolutely damaged, so let's watch it turn. Because of its high levels of grip, it just ruins the suspension. Look at that, it's 78 percent and then the slam on the brakes good god they slam on the brakes really quickly 46 miles an hour before they even enter the pits so it's actually just suspension damage that killed this thing interesting oh i was looking at the wrong car the bmw wasn't involved oops it was the bentley that got involved oh i see what's going on here right okay so that peugeot is being really slow so let's watch this from the uh bentley's perspective which i think is here right okay so yeah you can see up ahead the purge so the purge is being really slow which causes the aston martin to actually ping into the back of this so there's me there so the aston martin pings into the back of the um of the aston martin there's the bmw understeering wide so then this bentley is still going, it's understeering like mad. It's on the brakes now, trying desperately. It then goes off, so it pings the wall. Cam's doing a funny. Uh, no, I've got, I might need to turn motion off. And, oh, oh, oh god, Cam's gone really funky. Uh, there we go, that's sort of reset it. Yeah, so then the Bentley just pings into the back of the ass. Oh, there's the, uh, oh. We've got the the uh, blinking exhaust lights, exhaust lights, <laughs> exhaust bang from that. So then the panos goes wide and just pings into the Bentley. Whoa! And uh, the panos, I think, actually got away with it. So the Aston Martin's in the wall. Where is the panos? I think that's a lap down one. Not too sure where. Uh, no, that's. Pitting Panos was in fourth. Oh, okay. So I did get away with it somewhat, just with a lot of damage. Uh, oh, oh no! Yeah, you can see it there, just understeering. The Bentley obviously pings off the wall, and it's a double tag. I mean, to be honest, the Aston Martin actually kind of helped it, I'm not spinning out. But that is a hell of a lot of damage. Now, I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to swap over to Sedona so we get something else. The Acura comes across and then just slams on the brakes. So, of course, the Audi is then on the brakes. The Aston, as well, goes onto it. So then there's just a ping-pong effect. The Acura then gets spun out into the wall. The Audi actually gets away with it, not too bad. The, this Lola Aston Martin is still heavy on the brakes. Pinged the... Um, other Aston Martin, the Bentley's got involved. I think the Cadillac managed to avoid it. I have to take huge avoidant action. You see that on the left. The Acura gets picked up by the uh, yellow Aston Martin. The BMW gets involved. It's actually still being pushed by the uh, still being pushed by the uh, yellow Aston Martin. The BMW, I think, just tags at the end. So yeah, there we go. That's enough of twinning Mortegi. Let's uh, let's now head to Sedona. So, you join me at Sedona. Um, it's a more of a conventional oval than the... What should we call it? Twenty more Teggy's egg-shaped oval. So, yes, it's gonna be a, it should be a little bit easier, but Sedona has its own challenge, and that's actually the corners onto the banking, because they actually... Um, <clears throat> They actually are a little bit sharper, they're not nice and flowing, they, uh, they do actually have sudden jolts. And also as well, this starts an interesting one, ooh, go, go, get straight onto the oval, so this one's probably going to be a little bit less spectacular. To, oh my god, tell a lie, the Cadillac's already gone, and we haven't even did turn one, go and Benny. Right, okay. Yeah, so you see how the corners kind of, jo um, with sort of sharpness. To them going onto the uh, onto the oval and uh, sort of the, onto the oval. Excuse me. Sort of uh, on the banking and then off the banking as well. We've got a little bit of a uh, sharper corner to them, and that that's really the main challenge. It's the AI's 
make the most amount of mistakes here. And that's when they tend to go pretty wide. But they don't do it all the time. That's when they do it. They are better at this than they are more taking. Well, I mean, to be honest, as you can see. Oh, Audi's gone and wolved it. And it's going to... Oh, it tried to go in the pits. And it's just wiped someone out there. Yeah, the AI's are a little bit derpy. Um, as you'd expect, Aston Martin's running wide. I tried to go for an overtake, did not work out. That one's split in the walls again as well. Um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to show the case this one as well because they also struggle with this, but not as spectacularly. When uh, when some of the cars roll and then stay on their sides, so though, it is a lot scarier. So hopefully I'll be able to show that off. Um, well, the suspension. We're going to knacker the suspension. It's already on like 89%. 93% now, <laughs> and thankfully it happened right at the beginning, so I just need to find it, uh, actually, I'll just go game cameras, which is this one, right, let's watch it, so, right, okay, so, <clears throat> it, it just doesn't turn at all, <laughs> it just doesn't turn away from the wall whatsoever, it's just following the Aston Martin, and obviously it plows into the wall, and um, that was it really, um, that's going up the inside, <coughs> so I should even more, oh it just stops turning and then wall rides, and then, oh, it's the panels that clipped it, yep, yeah, came and coming down, trying to get off the wall and clips the panels, the panels just get a little bit of a slide and then the Aston Martin try to step on the brake, actually the BMW manages to stop, and this one just ends up back on the start grid. I'll try that again. <laughs> I'll try that again. Oh, I think it's not like Steven, possibly. Has it got Fulton Steven? No. Hmm. Surprising. Or AI is having it. Okay, I just got wiped by the pan. Oh, there we go. There's some huge crashes going on there. I've tried to be a cure of it. Oh, I've missed my shit. That is my car. Massively damaged now. <laughs> I think it was the panels. Yeah, well, Broken steering, broken gearbox, broken driveline. Yeah, this is now not drivable. The Bentley did it. The Bentley wiped me out. Which then spun me into the panels. That took out a huge amount of health. I actually made it lose its splitter, I think. Yeah, it did. Well, so we absolutely murdered the front of that car, then the Cadillac scrapes the wall, goes into the occur and just absolutely wipes it out. And I don't have the steering, so then I tag that and then, yeah, that was basically it for that attempt. <laughs> Alright, so there's a few to um, digest this one. So we've got the panels turning into the wall, and you can see it there, it's not turning away from it. So it turns in, hits it. So there we are, it's on two wheels, so it pings over to the other side, clips that wall, almost rolls it, so it's now drifting, straight, oh, the Bentley gets clipped, and, oh, hang on, oh, you can see it only just, but I'm going to swap to it, <laughs> because of that, it just gets, oh, that is, yeah, it just understeers into it a little bit, or just doesn't turn in enough. And then just get hit, plows into the wall, and then that's that. Uh, and then the other one was actually the Audi up ahead. I don't know whether, I think that might be telemetry being a funny. But then you can see here, uh, oh, actually, possibly not, because it understeers like mad, plows straight into the wall, and then second tap absolutely ruins the engine. And, you know, it then does eventually come off the wall. So the next lap, as we see here, the Peugeot's turning in, I think actually catches my slipstream a little bit and then just understeers into the wall, uh, struggling to get off the wall. Oh, <laughs> comes back onto the racing line. Yeah, so that's the one thing that you never do if uh, anyone was to go into racing. When you have an incident, don't go back onto the racing line like that. Because you just, that happens. It's just absolutely wiped the Cadillac, the Peugeot as well, goes into the wall, the Cadillac is still trying to stop the slide, and oh my god, 
Oh, hang on. No, I'm, I'm going back. I want to. I want to watch this. So the Aston Mar. Oh, yeah, it's telemetry replay being a bit funky because we've just watched the crash. So, so around here, this car, I think, had a little bit of issue earlier before. Oh no. <laughs> Moments before disaster, right there, have it. Let me change the camera a little bit. There we go. Moments before disaster, Peugeot is reversing still uh, onto the racing line. The Aston Martin desperately tries to stop, brakes, clashes, and <laughs> if that fence wasn't there, the Aston Martin was going to do a front flip. Oh my. God, and does it roll? It actually fully rolls, and it's still in a really bad position. The Bentley somehow makes it through, and the Aston Martin is completely destroyed. Well, did oh, uh oh, did another car actually make it through? The Panos just made it through. That was huge. Didn't even watch that one. <laughs> Okay, that's an interesting Audi there. I can't remember if there was any more. I think there was a car that went onto its side later on. I'll have to investigate on that one. I wonder why the Peugeot was a little bit slow when I came to lap it for the... Um, well, on track for the first time. Let's notice it there. It was just turning in and then just stopped turning in to that corner. So that's... Oops, I've accidentally elbowed my mic. So that's what's happening there for that Peugeot. I'm probably just going to watch it from now. Because I think this one, I think this got involved in a fair few of the crashes with its damage. Uh, okay, that's an interesting way to take that corner. While scanning through, actually, I did manage to find the Peugeot again, having a small issue. So it's just not making this corner. I just hit the wall harder. That that is stuck on the wall for a good length of time. Does manage to come back down off of it, but obviously because of that, then it goes back into the pit. Because I think the engine got damaged and love the underside of it too but yes guys i'm going to call it there for a video i do hope you enjoyed if you did i'd be highly appreciated um well all feedback is appreciated sorry uh if you i've balls up me on i'll try, I'll try that one again <laughs> i'm gonna right well i'm gonna call it there for a video i do hope you enjoyed all feedback is appreciated uh, if you want to join discord there'll be a link in that in the description however take care of yourselves Ciao for now, and I'll leave you with the Aston Martin crashing full speed.